cheese on your side. Better call bacon. A historic cemetery abandoned and surrounded by a development. Now it's for sale as part of a home site. Our investigation into the Worth Cemetery takes a little twist, though. The East Hillsboro Historical Society, along with county officials, now want this cemetery cleaned up and preserved. That's when they knew that better call Beckon. Investigator Shannon Beckon joining us now with follow-up report. Uh, it stirred up a lot of interest when you first reported on this. That's right, and I'm learning now that this property has quite a bit of history here. The earliest graves date back to 1888, and we know of 18 marked graves, but preservationists believe that there are more. A uh, lot for sale comes with family. Shelby Bender of the East Hillsboro Historical Society is disgusted to see this home site for sale with a cemetery. Graves, among them soldiers for the Confederate Army and World War I and II, covered by overgrown weeds. It's just disrespectful, and that's something that we're always taught about cemeteries when you're there is to show respect for the people who are buried there, show respect for the families. And I think that this is an occasion that that's just kind of gotten glossed over and, and moved on. There are 18 marked graves and maybe more. Some of the graves were not marked with headstones. They were just marked with shells. Bender tells me fights over this cemetery date back to at least 1979 when a preservationist fought for a cleanup. At the time, a Tampa realtor had bought 18 acres surrounding the cemetery, then got a court judgment to place the cemetery land on the county tax rolls. Nothing happened here until the 1990s when this subdivision was built. It is appropriately named Memory Lane. Perhaps someone had a sense of humor. Every lot has a nice home except for this one. Connie Webb grew up nearby and believes there are more graves than the 18 marked ones. She and her father visited this land when she was a child. And there were uh, Indian mounds that were large that I wanted to climb and he would not let me. And there were shells everywhere I wanted to pick up and move around and play with. He said, no, these are grave sites. Webb recalls her father stood in front of bulldozers to protect graves when this land was plotted. And all these years later, she's prepared to carry on the fight for a dignified cemetery. I spoke with the owner, and he tells me he's actually a trustee for the property, and he insists that it's the county's responsibility to clean up the cemetery and not his. That is something the county disagrees with because this is on private property. Well, I think the lady's right. I mean, you, you want to... Uh, take care of this. It should be cared for in some way, but who's right? A and what can be done? And what about these other bodies yeah. beyond the 18 you know about? Well, I called some other experts and they're all telling me that it is the property owner's responsibility here because it is on private property. But there's a state statute that I found just right before I came out here that says that the county can actually go onto the property since the property owner has not taken care of it and take care of it and they can send him a bill for that. So mm. it's in his best interest to work something out with the county to get this taken care of. As for the other bodies, you know, these ladies I interviewed today, they want some ground penetrating radar to go in and find out where the bodies are and how many they are, but it would take the property owner to cooperate. Well, I think the neighbors would want to know too. It's like, well, they how, are they scattered around in other right. places as mm -hmm. well? Well, thank you, Shannon. I have a feeling we're going to have a follow up on this yes. one to come. Now, if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Benkin. The telephone number on your screen now, 1 855 Benkin.